Jagdish Chandra Bose was born in 1858 in a village in Bengal. After studying physics at Calcutta University, he went to England for further studies. He graduated from Cambridge, then returned to India and was appointed Professor of Physics Presidency College in Calcutta. He is one of the most prominent scientists who proved through his experiments that both plants and animals share much in common. He proved that plants are sensitive to heat, cold, light, noise and various other stimuli. He discovered an instrument called crescograph which could measure the growth of plants. Few more features of the instrument are it is a unique instrument it records the reactions of plants to stimuli it magnifies the movement of plants it records the growth of plants it proves that plants have heart it proves that plants have sight india in the 19th century was well known for its greatness in the fields of fine arts literature and philosophy but in the field of science it had not progressed much sir jagdish chandra bose with his invention made a name for himself and his country in the scientific world bose was a rebel by nature a three year struggle began between bose and the government in which he was victorious an indian in those days of british rule usually received two thirds of the salary paid to a European professor. Bose's appointment was a temporary one, so he was given only half the rate of a European. Bose was not the man to take this quietly. He felt that people who did the same amount and same kind of work should be paid the same salary, whatever race or nation they belong to. It is worth remembering that discoveries do not come from the faithful followers and the yes men of science they come from the doubters and the rebels until the end of middle ages the world was looked on as one beautiful unity created by god man believed that everything in the world from man to rocks and stones had its place and purpose the discoveries of galileo and newton changed the world picture Man began to study each branch of science separately with greater detail and there developed several different kinds of sciences. Bose, however, recognized a unity among all these different branches of science. The story of this great scientist will not be complete without some mention of his concern for India and her people. He had a deep faith in the intelligence of his countrymen. Bose was certain that they were as capable of doing great things today as their ancestors had done in the past. In an address at a convocation of the University of Mysore in November 1927, Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose spoke about India's glory in the past and declared that it was action and not idleness that was responsible for the glory. He believed that there could be no happiness for a single person unless it had been won for all. And this great scientist wanted his countrymen to have undying hope and faith in the future.